Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today's topic is IP tables as a Linux firewall. In this video about IP tables, I prepare four total the three part. In part one, the fundamental features of IP tables with the five chapters. Part two, the extended features with four chapters. And the last part will be the example of IP tables. Okay, chapter one, the filter overview. IP tables is a packet filtering firewall and this one normally the kind of the packet filter architecture for kernel version 2.4 and 2.6. And normally, the NetFilter is works as a filtering service in the kernel, not a daemon service. And this one normally the assert the policies layer 2, 3, and 4 of the OSI reference model. So here, layer 2 means the data link layer, layer 3, network, and layer 4 means the transport layer. And Normally, the net filter only the inspect packet headers, not payload. So, firewall normally cannot detect the virus uh, or worm like this because this kind of things normally works in layer seven like this. So, only the net filter the, can the detect some the wrong or the rules inside only the headers and uh, this net filter cons uh, the ip tables the consist of two part net filter module in kernel and ip tables user space software so first if we want to use the ip tables as a linux firewall first kernel must support this NetFilter module first. And after that, if kernel does support NetFilter module, then we can install this package and we can use IP tables. IP the tables normally the supersede IP chains in kernel 2.4. So here in kernel version 2.2, normally we use this one IP forward admin, but this one is a transfer to IP chains in kernel version 2.4, and now we are using IP tables in kernel version 2.4 and 2.6. So even if in kernel version 2.4, normally the Linux support two things. IP chains, IP tables, but we could not use IP chains, IP tables at the same time. Only we have to choose only one IP chains or IP tables. If you want to see the more information, please visit this website about NetFilter service. Okay, number two, the basic comments. First, the IP table packages and a kernel model. First, please check already you installed this package or not IP tables. If you don't the install this package, then install using this command you install IP tables. And also you have to check the kernel module using this command. And as mode five grab tables then this command will show you the kernel module of the filters. And uh, number two, service startup. So if you want to use the IP tables, then you can use the service IP tables start. And after that, you can uh, check or register this service to each number using this command. The IP tables status. If we want to see the current IP tables the status, then you can use the IP tables BNL or service IP tables status. E the saving rules. After you create many kinds of rules using IP tables, 
and uh, if you want to save this rules then you can use this command i service i be able to save or i be able to save and eject what a specific file and directory name checking rule data if we want to see the default ip tables rules then here it says it's going to be ip tables normally ip tables save their whole the rules here as a default and uh, restoring rules later after you save your rules in the specific the directory and file name and if you want to use these rules again then you can use this command app tables restore rule the root rule like this this is a come from here okay that filter architecture so first that filter architecture means the IP tables so normally IP tables use the table here normally filter table, not a table, and mangle table. So even if there are three kind of tables, normally we use the filter and not. Mangle is a specific effect, but normally not used. And uh, each the table can uh, select the chains. So for the chain, we will use this kind of chain. And, uh, normally chain the the five kinds of chains next page I will show you and each chain has the policy and rules and if the policy and the rule conflict each other normally rule has priority than policy and each rule has match specification and target target and match specification has also base the match and extension match target also base target and extension targets so each the ip tables has this kind of the architectures okay number three napita tables and chains so i already explained about the tables the filter table not the table the mangle in the previous uh, page here normally filter filters the packet and normally we call this one default tables and the not table normally we can use this one for network address address the translation so here filter not mangled but normally we don't use this mangled table and each this kind of filter and the not table has here five kinds the chains normally we say this one chain so input the forward output pre-routing and forced routing so filter table normally use only three chains input forward output and not table normally use three kinds the chains output pre-routing and post routing number four the filter packet flow if the packet arrived to the Linux system, then normally this packet must pass the pre-routing. And according to the, this pre-routing, this packet will the decide exact routing using forward or input. If this packet decide input the chain, this one will be to the process local process and after that going to the output if pass off then this one must pass post routing and after that exit this the process and uh, if uh, one the packet only pass the routing and uh, decide to the forward then must this packet will arrive this one and after that this port packet will be transferred to post routing and after that exit okay chapter 3 the rule target before the start the rule target i will show you the first the basic the concept page the command first the rpm the qa please check the ta uh, this ip tables package in my case i already installed this one if you don't have just you can use 
like this. But in my case, I already installed. Okay, in my case, I already installed the latest uh, version. And one more thing, grab tables. So this is a mean, the LS mode mean, show the or list the kernel module. And among all kernel modules, please show the tables. So here we can see IP on the bar tables. So this one, IP table filter, mangle and not. And IP version 6 also. And except this one, if you want to see more the module related to the IP tables here, IP table filter, mangle, not. And the net filter not and net filter connection tracking. Later I will explain about this one. And the IP tables, you can find this kind of module as well. And IP version 6. Okay, then service IP tables start. Then you can see IP tables. At first, you can see this kind of IP tables, the rules. This is the default rules. And so first, the please check the, your run level. In my case, now all the run level is the off. So in my case, uh, Level 35 IP tables on. So now this one on level 3 and on level 5 IP table this the IP tables will start the automatically. And uh, I already show IP tables VNL. Then you can oh sorry IP tables VNL. Then you can see this kind of the exact the current IP table status or uh, sorry service. So you can see this kind of the status as well. Status. So here filter table and the um, bangle. <coughs> and not like this so you uh, using this command you can the check the current ip tables the status and uh, next normally ip tables okay uh, first let's check this one normally ip table just saves the current this can do to this file so if we want to see the file you can see this please read this file here so in this file we can see this kind of the ip tables rules and normally this kind of comment service ip tables status or This kind of the result come from etc syscompig ip tables. So after you create many kinds of rules, and if you want to save, then you have to check this file cat etc syscompig ip tables. And now all service ip tables now save. Then this command also will save the current rule to this file. And if we want to save this kind of rules to the specific the directory or okay, file, the, for example, in my case, so root. So here I can read this kind of rules. So using this kind of command, you can save the current rules to the specific directory and files. And later, IP tables restore. After you, the, okay, let's test like this. IP tables, uh, okay, first plush. Then 
we cannot find the, the other rules. This is a default the rules IP tables. So in this case, IP table restore. And after that, IP tables VNL. Then now we can see the first the rules to the save to this directory and file. Okay, this is a basic the command to use IP tables. IP tables the chapter three rule target. So IP tables uh, the uh, kind of the syntax looks a little bit difficult and complicated. So first here rule the matching. This is a kind of the rules. And uh, IP tables has many kinds of rules and normally this kind of rules in ordered the list in the IP tables. And this kind of packet normally tested against each rule in turn. So one by one, this kind of packet will be tested according to the rules of IP tables. And uh, if this packet the first match, then target is evaluated and after that, this packet will be exit the, this chain. And each rule made the specify multiple criteria for match. Though, so each rule can specify what define multiple the criteria. Every criteria in the specification must be met for the rule, the match, logical, and. So not logical or this one normally must be used only by the logical end. And uh, in first page, I already explained that each the table has the rule and policy. And if the packet does not match to any the rules, then this one will apply. We will apply the policy. Number two, the rule target. Normally, if we the install the IP tables, there is a, the built-in target like a drop and accept, and the extension targets and the log and the reject. This kind of things is the extension target of the IP tables and custom chain. Custom chains mean we can create this kind of rules and the chain by ourselves. And the reject normally the sender notice return to the sender. Drop and the reject is the same, but drop normally does not send this kind of notice, but the reject the send. Log connect to the system, log the kernel, the facility, and the log match does not exit. Even if the packet the match the log, but this one does not exit the chain. Number three, rule target in detail. Accept already state this one. Let the packet through mean the pass. Drop the packet on the floor. Reject, same to drop, but send a notice to return to send. For example, IP tables, the, this one later, I will speak about this one. Add or assert the forward to the chain. And after that, protocol TCP and the destination port 22 ssh and j mean the jump to then reject if the packet arrived to the forward chain and the destination port is 22 then reject but here we will the reject with the tcp reset then this one will send a kind of notice to the sender Q the target. This one normally the pass the packet to user space and should use TC, uh, IP under Q. This is a kind of the kernel module. And now using this module, we can use the Q target. But this Q target can be worked under kernel 2.3 to 2.6. If we want to the maximum Q depth, then we can see this file. And if we want to see the current Q status, then we can, if we check this file, prop net net filter, the NF under Q. Before, uh, prior to the kernel version 2.6, then 
we use this file but now we are using this file and now q target also now the change to this one net filter q the return the target cause the current packet to stop traveling through the chain where it hit the rules maybe the packet the hit the rule then normally this kind of packet will be stop traveling through the chain if we use the return and the redirect use the redirect packet and the streams to the machine itself for example ip tables had the table not and the preloading the target and the protocol tcp and destination port the 80 then the reach jamming the jump the redirect to port number 80 80 like this so if the packet arrived to destination port 80 then this packet will be redirected to port number 80 80 okay chapter 4 chain the operations simple example for example here ip tables table the filter and a the input the chain name as mean the source address 192.160.0.1 and this is a source address we call this one match part and if this rule is a match this one then jump to drop this one with a target so we call this one is a rules and this one is so we call tens is the chains and uh, in the chain the this kind of chain the support basic operations so first one the hyphen a this one append the rule to the chain it means the add some rule to the ch exact chain like a filter not one mangle i mean the insert rule the chain so when we use the i the capital i then for example i chain then just insert this rule to the first rule and if we the define exact the number then this one this is the rule will be added to this chain this kind of rule number three if we want to the delete the some the specific one individual rule then we can use the d and for example d chain three then delete rule number three of this chain and the D chain rule then delete all the these rules and the F then the F mean the plus all rules of the chain each the chain has the specific the rules but if we want to dump this all the rules from the chain then you can use the F and the l or vl this one mean the list rules in a chain or each tables additional chain so first assign chain policy so at first page i already explained and the police policy here normally for the each the policy also we can use this kind of target so normally the policy also has the three kind of things input output forward like this so for each the policy we can use this kind of the, ch the chain target so accept and drop or reject so accept mean the pass these uh, rules and the drop mean the drop this kind of the packet and the reject the permitted and the uh, zero byte and the packet contents if we the uh, use the hyphen jet then we can use the for the monitoring chain the statics so if you want to see exact the counter numbers then we can use this the the chain the number c the manage custom chain uh, normally IP tables support the default the chains but if we want to create our own the chain then we can use hyphen n so mean new your chain name here you can define exact our chain name then we can create our own the chain 
And uh, if we want to delete this chain, then I put X. For example, number four, chain operation, VNL line numbers, then this command will show you the current IP tables, the statics with line numbers, exact line numbers. F means the plush all the rules, and the T means the table lot, and for the not table, we can create a new chain. For example, here is my chain, and if we want to delete this uh, a new chain then here hyphen x then this command will delete this new chain for table lot ip tables hyphen i input the chain and after that here the the number three and as the source address here j accept it means the Normally, if we don't the exact the define exact table, normally the default table is a filter. So here, filter table and chain input and add the rule to the number three. And if the source address come from here, then accept. The target will be accept. And uh, if we want to delete this the rule for the input chain, then here, hyphen D. Uh, hyphen P means the policy input, the default input chain will be the drop. So if we configure like this, all the packet from outside will be drop. Output accept, but it, then we can configure like this, IP tables, the hyphen P output accept then the output packet will be accepted. Okay, match criteria. So before uh, this one, let's test some the rules. Okay, uh, in the first, uh, let's try to the test. For example, here, IP tables, the A, forward forward the chain and uh, protocol tcp and uh, destination port 22 and uh, reject and after that some reject the width so tcp reset so in this case, maybe this one, uh, now we are using the reject and the reject also will send the notice. And one more, have tables, in this case, uh, table will be not and target uh, chain, the free routing and uh, protocol will be the TCP. Destination port will be the 80, but redirect to is uh, in our case to port 80, 80. Then the, if the packet arrived to the port, the port number 80 is a web server, then this packet will be forwarded to this port number. This is a kind of example of to how to use the redirect. And uh, one more. Now let's check the IP tables, BNL, line numbers. Oh, sorry. Line numbers. So now we can see this kind of the rules and this kind of rule has exact the numbers. The first for the, the input chain and forward chain and output chain. So now IP tables then app then plus. So let's check. So now only the default accept the input chain and for the chain output chain with the accept 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 targets so if we use the plush then we can plush all the rules 
And uh, let's try to for the not table. Uh, my chain and let's check IP. <sighs> okay, so now if we see if we use the VNL, then here let's try to so now here uh, I already uh, if we just use the only the VNL, then this one normally will show only the filter table. But uh, I want to see the exact the other table. Then here we can confine. So not the table at first time. The use only the this kind of the chain pre routing, post routing, out. But here I the create this new chain. And uh, but not here x. Then normally okay my chain oh i'm sorry baby i misspelled here okay let's check okay C uh c-h-a-i-n-g so now tables not so now only pre-routing forced routing only output three the chains okay now here service IP tables restart then okay, IP tables BNL numbers so now we can see the default our the IP tables lose so here Let's check the here input chain. Now input chain has four the rules. So here let's try to add tables uh, I input chain and uh, rule number will be the three and the source number for example in my case 8.0 slash 24 bit and and after that So, okay, with uh, line numbers. So we can see the rule number three now here. The source 1921680.0 will be accepted. So like this. So using the input using this one and the rule number we can insert new rules to the current rules and if we want to the delete here the tables and the input and number three and after that so now Line number three here. Okay, that's it. One more thing. So now number line number the dual number three is uh, deleted. So if you use uh, this command the exact D, then this uh, also will delete exact the number of the rules. And uh, except this one, let's check the default VNL. So here, policy input policy now accept and uh, output uh, forward also accept and output also accept. So default normally IP tables permit only the target accept for the, the all the policies, but we want to change, for example, draft. Okay, and after that, so now input is a change to the draft. So normally, when we start.
the IP table, the default is uh, the accept, but I recommend you to change your default policy to do not accept. Okay, then let's go here. Okay, chapter 5, the match criteria. So the IP tables has many kinds of options, especially here, the match criteria. So for the match, the normally with the IP tables support this kind of option. For example, first one, I mean the incoming interface. So if packet match to the incoming interface, then give exact action using target and o mean outgoing interface p mean normally the protocol especially layer 4 protocol if we want to define or match exact source address then hyphen s destination then hyphen d normally this kind of things basic the capability so normally i in the ip tables normally we use ip address not dns and the TCP match also has the criteria, especially for the filter tables. So P protocol hyphen hyphen S port mean the source port, hyphen hyphen D port mean the destination port. And also this one support the TCP flag. TCP flag such as ACK, finish, the push, reset, sin, urgent, or none like this. And if we want to see only the scene, then you can use it. This one means the initial, the connection, the request. For this one, we can use the sim packet. And the match option model, uh, for example, I call the limit. Limit module normally the support limits on how many packets are matched to particular rules. So if we want to the limit to sum the packet, then we can use this module. And this one normally used in the conjunction with a log target. So if we want to use the log, normally we have to use this module. And for this module, there are two options, the limit and the limit to the bust. Limit to bust means the maximum the initial number of packet to match. So normally, at first time, normally we can permit inside or well, within the range of limits bust, but the limits this one the maximum the average matching rate for example limit five hours it means match five times in single hour then will give exact action for this packet for the unit here hour instead of hour we can use second minute or day like this and normally the limit burst must be used using the limit options. Be the MAC module, this one the enable hardware MAC address matching. So here MAC source. So if we want the match exact MAC address to net interface card, then we can use. And this one normally can be worked in input forward and preloading the chains. And the time module, this one match if the packet arrival time or date within a given range. So we can use, for example, date start and time start, date stop and time stop. For the date, for, for example, here, year, month, and day. Uh, date stop was the same. Time stop, hour, minute, and second. For example, the module time, Date start 2013 July 1st and start 2013 July the 31st. Then accept. Time start, for example, time start AM 1 o'clock and 1 minute. Then and the time start the 6 o'clock. Then this packet must drop like this. And the most clear tell you the examples. First one, how to use the interface protocol and port. For example, first one here, interface and the protocol and the source address and port number. Then the action will be draft. 
how this back address here model mac mac source for example this one if you want to the define exact mac address to drop then you can use this kind of the module number c how to use limit and time for example here source address and the module limit and limit here per minute five times and the maximum is a seven then this one will be logged using this prefix ip on the bus spoof like this time module input uh, here source address here and the time module time start the a1 o'clock and time start 5 5 uh, 59 then this kind of packet will be dropped and if we want to see this kind of drop the packet then you can read this file var log messages t how to use the tcp flag so here for example input the chain the protocol tcp and tcp flag finish and the reset but the reset will be dropped it means even if we can define to the packet here fin finish and the reset it means just examine finish and the reset but only set the only reset to drop like this okay then let's uh, test this one too now i be tables now the input chain now different policy so drop but accept this kind of things forward also and output also accept accept and has this kind of default so now i changed the default the policy of the input to accept so here let's test if tables eight input table input chain and uh, in my case eth0 and the protocol will be the tcp and the source address was 921680.0 slash 24 and the uh, destination port like uh, 80 then the action will be drop so if uh, from the this source address try to access uh, uh, access to the web server then this packet will be draft and uh, ip tables 8 input uh, for example now mac uh, mac source for example, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, one more. Okay, and after that, maybe if the source address and the MAC address is this one, then this packet also will be dropped. Okay, so uh, in this case, maybe if I use like this, the uh, source address and uh, per minute five times match and the maximum initial maximum is uh, seven times then the, the record this packet using this uh, the prefix ip spoof like this or okay let's uh, try it ip tables eight input okay and the uh, source address will be 10 a bit and the module uh, time okay time start uh, now uh, okay the 16 time staff okay 17 okay 17 18 hour then drop okay before using this one let's test here ping server so now from the client now to the uh, ping packet to the server is working well 
but the then let's uh, check the time now the 16 the p.m. for uh, uh, 51 o'clock and uh, this one also now so now this one the four, uh, 16 51 o'clock so now in my case 16 to the uh, uh, 16 to the 18 uh, okay I'm sorry this one must in my case now I must do the change like this uh, 168 the 80 dot in my case now using the 80 uh, from the client this one okay let's check so now using the 80 networks so I'll end up that let's uh, apply this one like this then now ping packet is a stop because uh, is uh, the range of this time will be the drop from the source address here so now in the client system i cannot send the ping packet okay for example okay now ping packet is a stop because of these rules okay so far i do show you and explain the default or basic or the fundamental the features of IP tables. In part two, I will explain these kind of things with the four chapters, directional filtering and the ICMP match, the connection tracking and not like this. Thanks for watching this video and see you part two.